Integers are the most basic form of data we can process on a computer. The first instructions I'll tackle are for integer arithmetic, so it makes sense to implement some integer types beforehand. It's also convenient to start with a simple topic like this, since I'll be properly using my compiler for the first time. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, maybe my introduction video can clarify some things. So what's the plan for today? I want to build a node that converts human-readable base 10 numbers into byte sequences. Since I'll be implementing x64 instructions in the next few months, the resulting bytes will need to be in little endian order as well. I also want to prevent any value overflows by limiting user inputs to fixed intervals. An unsigned 8-bit integer, for example, shouldn't accept values above 255. Let's start by defining an input socket for numbers using a port node. Most socket types can be further configured with some additional parameters. In this case, we can define a minimum and maximum value as well as a step size. But since I'm building integers, the step size will always be 1. The minimum and maximum, however, depend on the integer's sign and bit count. A format node can now be used to convert incoming numbers into the desired binary representation. For this example, I'm going for an unsigned 32-bit integer. The resulting bytes are in big endian order though, so we'll add a reverse node for little endian sequences. Finally, let's funnel the bytes into an output port and set the output type appropriately. And that's it, a node that converts human-readable numbers into bytes. All I need to do now is copy-paste the network and adjust some parameters. This way we can have all relevant integer types ready to go. Coming up next is x64 instruction encoding, followed by executable formats for Windows. And after that we'll use these new types for some maths. 